Well, it has taken a while, but the Troy Trojans finally get to play a game. Their first since November 29th, and to say they're ready to tee it up would be an understatement. Scott Schaefer, the defensive coordinator for Middle Tennessee, dials up another blitz. Watson is hit as he throws, but it's caught by Clark on the far sideline around the six-yard line. Replay. And it will result in a Troy touchdown. Pass is caught from Khalil McLean from eight yards out, and the Trojans are on the board. DJ Smith in the backfield. He will slide out. Watch him. Coming near side. That ball is. Let's see what they're saying. Is it intercepted that's in the end zone? A, that's a pick. They're going to say touchback. Blue Raiders. First down and 10 for the Trojans. Watson stands in the pocket. Stood a little too long. That ball is out and recovered by Middle Tennessee. Jordan Ferguson. Mobley in it running back. O'Hara keeps it himself. Dives for the end zone. Touchdown, Middle Tennessee. Second down. Big hole off the right side. This one could be going for B.J. Smith. He is chased down inside the 20 down to the 15-yard line. For Big back. 235, and he'll switch sides to the left of Watson. Give it to him again. To the end zone. There's Charles Strong. Charles Strong. 80 through the air, 22 on the ground. Second down and 10. O'Hara, quick throw up the middle, and that one is picked off. Intercepted by Craig Slocum, and he has got a convoy in front of him. Touchdown, Trojans. Forty-seven yarder is good for Evan Legassi, who takes over for last year's kicker Tyler Sumter, who transferred to West Virginia. Welcome to the game, Evan. If they can hold him here on third down, pressure comes and dropped in the end zone for a safety. Will Cholo, the junior defensive end. Just got enough of the shoe of Chase Cunningham, and they pick up the two points. Oh, got him. Pass is caught around the five-yard line. Khalil McClain with a heck of a catch. They'll spot it inside the five at the three. Secondary on an island, a lot of man-to-man -man coverage as they bring more pressure. Third and goal, Watson gets it off to the end zone, touchdown. Khalil McClain from five yards out, his second. Well, they need something. They need some kind of spark after being blanked by Army 42 to nothing two weeks ago. Cunningham batted in the air, and that one is picked off. Terrence Dunlap. Kamani Vidal in the game at running back. They go with Vidal. And there's the signal for the touchdown to try to find some offense. They got to throw the football. I mean, the plan for Troy was not to allow O'Hara to run the football, beat us with the arms. Well, they're going to see if Cunningham could get something done throwing the football. Spins out of trouble and back across the middle of the field. And that one is intercepted again. And that play should be ruled dead as soon as that helmet came off. But another interception on the back end for Terrence Dunlap. Third down and goal. Billingsley back on the field. They'll give him the football, and he will get it into the end zone. Touchdown, Troy. Yeah, that's right. 14 to 21 for 105 yards through the air, and then just bobbles that snap, and they'll say he's down around the 10-yard line, and just a, another terrible start here for Middle Tennessee. Let's go down to the games and all Sun Belt victories. First time Sun Belt has knocked off three Power Five schools. For the same weekend. Is that caught for a touchdown? Wow. It will be. Jacob Free looked like he was going to lose the football, gets it away, and the touchdown by Troy. Tyler 
Hussey with the touchdown. The junior from Troy, Alabama, making a shoestring grab. I don't think that's how they drew it up in, the, in film study. I'm, I'm quite positive that's not how they drew it up, but uh, <laughs> hey, whatever it was, it gave the receiver enough time to make it to the end zone and free through a strike. It was like a little crossover. I, did that ball go between his legs or did it just go low? I'm anxious to see because it was, that was crazy. Behind the back, between the legs, no problem. Zip, touchdown, good times continue to roll. 98 yards of offense for the Trojans, 241 for Middle Tennessee, but the big number is on the scoreboard. And Troy just absolutely dominates Middle Tennessee. Rick Stock still, Chip Lindsey. Shaking hands at midfield, but a good start to the 2020 campaign. These two clubs will see each other again later in the year for a second meeting, but the Palladium going to Troy, Alabama, at least for the time being. Our final score, 47-14, Troy over Middle Tennessee.